What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. Today's video I'm going to be flying the Dark Star yet again except this time is a little bit different. I'm going to see if I can take off and land successfully or unsuccessfully at Saba or on Saba. Technically as it says there, Juanco E. Rasquin Airport which is, I had to look this up, Saba is a Dutch Caribbean island. It's the smallest commercial airport in the world with a runway length of just 400 meters so this should be fun taking off i don't think should be an issue landing however in the dark star is gonna be well i have a history of landing the dark star pretty badly so this will be fun also disclaimer i am using the xbox controller because i do not have any peripherals for the xbox as of yet and you might notice that i am standing and that is correct because i'm using my tv which is mounted to the wall as it's 4k and my monitor setup down here is not 4k it's only 1080p and i want the crispiest footage for youtube right so it can get compressed down to 420 or 480 or whatever anyway let's just get into this it says we are flying at 5 33 p.m which is not local time i had set it to local time it is definitely not local time so let's quickly change that shall we Boom, much better. Local time now is 12.34, so it says, and that is actually the same local time as me. So obviously Saba is in the Caribbean Islands, which is pretty close to where I am here in Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands. Anyway, what's happened here? Let's reset. I don't think taking off is gonna be that difficult, although I'm not right at the very back of the runway. That should be fine. Let's just go for it. So parking brake off and we'll go full throttle. Actually, let's go after burners just in case. I don't trust that we're gonna be able to actually lift off. Lift, 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 lift. Oh God. Okay, well, we got lucky there. Forget about it. Let's just fly back around and see if we can land this. Let's just drop the landing gear now because, you know, why the hell not? I really need to slow down here. 420 knots. Yeah, I don't expect this to go to plan. Let's just cut the power and hopefully we sail in. We can use the speed brakes. Yeah, I'm coming in way too hot for this. Oh, God. Break, 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 break. Okay, well, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Let's try that again. Okay, well, that didn't work. Gliding in here pretty smoothly. Air brakes, cut the power. No, see, I need to be hitting that tarmac brake. Same thing. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard landing again. Okay, here's a good line. Oh God, oh God. Break, 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 break. It's just too fast. Okay, let's try landing from this direction. Although we are coming in very hot here. No, no, this isn't gonna work. Hmm. My landing gear wasn't even down. Landing gear this time. Cut the power. Speed brakes. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, we're coming in way too hot here. This is looking pretty good. Oh, we're a bit low. We're a bit low. No, no, no. Brake! Damn it. Speed brakes. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Brake, at least just stay on. Stay on. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to change something here. And as you can see, I have the weather tab open. My thinking is let's put on a bit of a headwind. We need that resistance there. We have an 80 knot headwind. This is looking pretty good. Drop the power. That just slammed me down just as soon as I uh, came over land. Could I just float in? Let's adjust the wind here. I will come in. Landing brakes, and it's just slamming me down. We're not off the end of the runway, but we did, we're getting blown back here. We did get absolutely slammed down there. Okay, nice and easy now. This is looking pretty good. Lift up. Drop. Oh. Okay, coming in here now with 50 knot headwinds. Hopefully that eliminates getting absolutely pulverized into the runway so that we can come in a little bit smoothly and have enough time to break. Nice and easy. Cut the power. Air brakes. Drop. 
Let's, let's go for that again. Speed brakes. Ouch. That was a little hard, wasn't it? I think it's time to try from the other side. Come on, don't slam me down. It slammed me down. God damn it. Come on. Oh. Don't slam. Oh, God. Don't slam. Okay, we've raised the uh, wind layer level to about 2,500 feet, so I don't know how or if that's going to do anything. Ever so smoothly. Not get slammed down. Air brakes. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Right, can we stop? Can we stop? Come on, brake. Parking brake. I'm taking that as a win. Oh my god. Okay, so we know that we can take off. Coming in to land when it's perfect weather, not so much. You're just gonna go flying straight off, so buckle up. But it looks like we can kind of land when there is severe headwinds of about 100 knots for this side. However, it does seem to slam you straight down into the runway as soon as you approach land, which is not ideal. However, if you're willing to go to hospital for six months with a back brace, that landing right there I think should suffice. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator videos. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye bye.